What's up, YouTube? I am Lamont at Large, and I am standing in front of the gates of the old and insane Penal Cemetery here in Columbus, Ohio. So if you can see in the distance, that's downtown Columbus, Ohio. I'm a little bit south of there, about five miles south of there, is this. State of Ohio, State Old, Insane, and Penal Cemetery. It is an abandoned cemetery. There is a behavioral institute over there where they lock up people who are mentally ill. It's about a half a mile down the road. So this is technically an abandoned cemetery. This is where they would bury people that, you know, had mental illness back in the olden days. As you can see, a few graves here. Basically, we treated mental illness quite differently like how we treat other illnesses back in the old days we would just kind of throw you in an asylum and then throw a straight jacket on you do a little bit of uh, electrocution therapy and then maybe a lobotomy or two and hope for the best uh, nowadays we have uh, we're a more compassionate society we have some drugs that are at our disposal where you know whatever ails you or whatnot then we just give you uh, but back in the old days, no, it wasn't like that. Back in the old days, it was pretty bad, to tell you the truth. It was a lot of beatings, uh, just a lot of torture. A lot of these people lived a very tortured life. Some say this cemetery at night is haunted. You can hear people moaning and what have you. So let's see if we can make out some of these graves really quick. If you ever get a chance to make it out here, you got to be careful of where you step. There's a lot of stones out here that are the size of a brick that has been overgrown by grass over the years. Uh, this is a pretty well-kept cemetery, in my opinion. But, you know, when you're burying people, you'll often see, like, these brick-sized markers with just a number on it. It doesn't even say a name, and it gets overgrown with grass so I always try to be careful to never step on a tombstone. There's a lot of these bricks buried on the side of this fence right here. I'm not sure what the story of this car is, but it's on the other side of the fence. I don't know if this is somebody's private property. I see a house way yonder, but it looks to be a, um, I don't even know what kind of car that is. I'm not into old cars, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been gutted out. It looks like it was on fire and it's just sitting here in the middle of nowhere. I would say there's probably about well over 500 graves here, but most of them are those little tiny bricks. And you can only imagine when you were considered insane back in those days, what kind of weird experiments they would do on you, what they would do to you, what kind of drugs they would give you to try to cure whatever was ailing you. I mean, basically, in a sense, they were human guinea pigs. And a lot of times it's not talked about that they were used to test drugs on, to test weapons on. A lot of just weird, you know, scientific experiments that the government and people aren't really going to admit, but that's what they did back in those days. If you were considered crazy, they'd lock you up. Your family would come and see you once a month and say their goodbyes and you would go back You'd go back into your into your room and 
they would do whatever they wanted to you. And you couldn't do anything about it because you were just considered crazy. It looks like from the stones that I've seen, the last burial here took place in the mid-70s. And most times when they died, you know, their families would come and pick them up. But sometimes, you know, when you have a loved one that is mentally ill, they would rather the hospital deal with the cost and expense of the burial versus them take it on upon themselves to do so. This stone right here is different from the other ones. It's the same size, but it looks like they recently replaced it. And then they had somebody etch it and they did a pretty good job on it. This is the only stone that has been replaced. All the other ones here are the same original stone. And a lot of them, you can't even see the name anymore like this one right here. I mean, it's been totally erased, uh, just weather. Okay, just a quick tour of the cemetery here. I've seen a few videos of people covering the cemetery, but nothing feels better than actually just going there yourself. But I understand not many of you can travel the way I do. So I try to bring the cemetery to you, so to speak. I know I'm going to need a new camera here. I apologize for the glitching uh, during the video. I will be getting a new camera phone here shortly. Uh, anyways, uh, live, but not live, but I'm still alive by the grace of God. I am at the old insane and penal cemetery here in Columbus, Ohio. You take it easy and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.